47 faculty members, 170 research students and about 200 undergraduate students, we are one of the biggest physics departments in the country. We have a four-year B.Tech program in engineering physics. We have a five-year B.S. plus M.S. integrated program for students coming after their high school. We have a two-year M.Sc. program for students coming after their B.Sc. and a two-year M.Tech program for students coming after their M.Sc. or B.Tech. This is in addition to a regular Ph.D. program which we have. Our strength in our academic program lies in the breadth which we can offer to a student. We have faculty working in areas related to highly industrial oriented materials research up to strength theory. In addition, we have several colloquia and seminar which offers exposure to a breadth of topics to students. On the research front, the first point to note is that over the past few years, we have made considerable enhancement in the research infrastructure. Adding to our traditional strength in condensed matter and materials research, we have now added a experimental particle physics group and strengthened our theory group. We have established a nanotechnology center with state-of-the-art facilities wherein we carry out research on the fundamental and applied aspects of nanomaterials, CNTs and thin film nanostructures. We also work closely on industry-related problems and this is one of the main strengths of this center. Two of the areas that are actively pursued by the Experimentalists in the department are oxide electronic materials and intermetallics. Some of the areas of research are magnetism in F electron systems, magnetic cooling, magnetic phase detection, magnetoelectrics, phase transitions, plasma and resonance, thin films, energy, photovoltaics, pintronics, and imaging of material surfaces by microwaves. We work on graphene. Our work focuses on the interplay of elasticity and electronics in these atomically thin membranes. Another aspect of our work uh, looks into graphene that has been decorated with hydrogen atoms uh, where we have exotic electronic states. And we are in the process of implementing these ideas for hydrogen storage and energy applications. In related areas, the theoretical effort of our department looks into quantum many-body phenomena, as well as the role of disorder and interactions in strongly correlated systems. We also work on soft matter. In particular, we are interested in the structure and dynamics of these systems uh, using techniques such as X-ray, neutron scattering and uh, imaging techniques. In uh, photonics and spectroscopy, we investigate a wide range of phenomena in light and matter. And for that, we have uh, included a lot of indigenous components in our experiments, which helps us train students and manpower. So experiments and research on light, part of it is focused on characterization and applications of ultrafast laser pulses, and also looking into uh, microcavity modes. Then another part is interaction of light and matter, where we are looking into regular and random media and there we are focusing on light uh, localization and enhanced emission. There's also interest in uh, looking into structure and uh, dynamics of interstellar medium ions, which is of interest in astrophysics, and for that we are using photoelectron spectroscopy. The directions we are heading towards, we are developing a state-of-the-art multipole ion trap, setting up an advanced femtosecond laser facility which will enable us to start some strong field physics related experiments. We are also working on applications where we are probing the possibilities of using random media for solar energy harvesting and sensors. The theoretical physics group at IITM pursues research in a wide spectrum of areas such as atomic physics, biological physics, condensed matter physics, nonlinear dynamics, quantum information and computing, quantum dynamics, string theory, gravitation, and cosmology. The wide spectrum of research at IIT Madras has enabled us to offer advanced courses to undergraduates on contemporary topics. This has enabled undergraduates to contribute to our research program. An exciting recent development is IIT Madras joining the CMS collaboration at CERN. In the coming years, as we strengthen our conventional areas of activity, we'll be looking for new directions to expand our research 
and also explore new paradigms of teaching.